Hi, my name is Chad Wagner, System Engineer with McNaught McKay Electric Company. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and flash Rockwell Automation components using Control Flash Plus. First, you'll need to go to the Rockwell Automation Product Compatibility and Download Center. Once there, click the Find Downloads link. Type in Control Flash Plus in the lower search box and click the Downloads button. Clicking the download icon will bring up your options. I'm going to select Control Flash Plus with Factory Talk Services. Click Downloads button and then Download Now button. Accept the end user agreement and click the Manage Download button. Clicking the executable will begin the download manager. After the file is finished downloading, click the Compress folder and extract all files. Open the folder and click Setup to launch the wizard. Click Install Now and accept the end user agreement. After the install is complete, search for Control Flash Plus application. You will then need to browse to the correct network path. From here you'll be able to see all devices on your network, their IP addresses, current firmware, and if you have an internet connection, the most current firmware available from the PCDC will be shown. Firmware that is not currently in the library will have the blue download arrow next to it. The Flash 2 column can be sorted by the latest from the Download Center, Computer, or by creating a favorites list. For each device, you can select the drop-down menu to manually choose the firmware revision and also view the release notes. For this example, we are going to download and flash the Micro 820 to version 12. and the panel view 5310 to version 5. Click the next button and accept the end user agreement. After the firmware has downloaded, click the finish button to begin flashing. In a Star Network topology, Control Flash Plus can flash up to 16 devices at a time. After the devices have been successfully flashed, click Close, then Done. Under Manage Firmware tab, here you can remove files, browse to the file storage location, and monitor lifecycle status per device. Under the Manage Favorites tab, here you can create a list of devices related to a specific area and assign the preferred firmware for that device. This list can now be used to filter the Flash 2 column of the Flash Devices tab. Going back to the Flash Devices tab, you can now confirm the devices that were flashed. Also, you can now see the Favorites list that was created is an option in the Flash 2 dropdown. For additional questions or more videos like these, please call us or visit our website.